All right, everybody. I am going to do a little demonstration of how we can do some of the dot art that we saw in today's book, Dots, Dots, Dots at the Museum. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. And we'll start with Dots, Dots, Dots at the Museum. Hopefully you can see it. As you might have noticed, every single painting and piece of artwork has a dot somewhere in it. For example, the fish have dots that are blue because they live in water. So I've made a little program in PowerPoint that you can use to draw with your own dots. And it looks a little bit something like this. Now, you go full screen, you can click on any of the circles and you can start to click the circles and you'll start getting the colors. Now I'm going to make just a few abstract patterns to show you the idea. This one is a rainbow colored grid. I'm also going to upload one that does just one color. I think some people might find it a little bit confusing to do it in rainbows like this, and it can be clearer when you do it in just one color. But that's, uh, that's up to you, whether you want to do it like that or not. And let's see, I can go like that, get some more colors, and camera if you have one, but I can also press the print screen button on my keyboard or take a screenshot if you're in a different kind of program or a different kind of device. And we can save it that way. So I'm going to hit the escape button. We'll go back and I will share with you. Let's see. Did I, here, here's another one I made. Yeah. So this one I did zigzags in back and forth like that. There's a lot of different things that you could try. Uh, let's see, I'll go back and let's see. Try this one here. And let's see if we can't do level, little bitty. Oh, smiley face. There we go. Mm. Yeah, I think that looks good and slightly bigger eyes, and maybe a nose. There we go. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with dots. I encourage you to give it a try. It's up on Edsby, and uh, have some fun. All right, bye, everybody.